The Madden 24 Easter promo has a ton of mystery Easter eggs. And on Easter day, they'll hatch into hopefully some insane players. I'm going to collect all of them right now. Also, don't say I didn't warn you. I specifically said one week ago that they would drop significantly easier ways to get Easter eggs come closer to Easter. And here we go. We have a grand egg basket. You can only buy one per account. It does cost real money. If you don't want to go that route, there's now a Sugar Rush egg pack. Gives you everything that a Sugar Rush pack gives you and additionally one simple basket. The simple basket guarantees a random simple egg or better. The odds on that are unknown. Keep in mind a Sugar Rush pack itself is 70,000 coins and a Sugar Rush egg pack is 97,000 coins. So EA is valuing technically a simple basket at 27,000 coins. I'm definitely tempering expectations after the Christmas promo, totally atrocious promo, those Christmas presents dog shit. Let's just put it how it is. But I'm still excited to collect these. I'm just not going to go as crazy as I did at Christmas. I was going hard for everything. I wanted it bad and multiple. What do you mean by that? So these are the three eggs I have right now. I have the wild card egg. This one quick sells for 4,140 chocolates. So it's a pretty damn good one. The exclusive egg on the, on the side, it says branch out and it's lion's colors. This is one of two things to me. It's either a 98 overall Brian branch or it's a gold 99 Brian Branch. I hope it's a gold 99, but I don't want to get too excited. Quick sells for 9,560. You know, that's one really good. And then I got this Super Bowl egg. Quick sells for 370. You can bet your ass that that is just a super mediocre, low overall Super Bowl player. And that's it. I'm actually going to start with the Sugar Rush egg packs. I can spend coins on these, which I'm excited about. You're limited to 15 per account. I'll open all 14 here. Sugar Rush packs are 289 overalls or better. If I could somehow manage to get one of the limiteds, this would be amazing. Oh, and I apologize. I didn't show you guys the limiteds. Limiteds are right on screen there. There's a gold 99 Keenan Allen and a gold 99 Joey Porter. Both of those cards are sick. I think the Joey Porter's better. And this is my pack and play team. I really need the Joey Porter, but I'd be very happy with Keenan Allen too. I'm gonna do all the Sugar Rush packs first so that we can just kind of open all the Easter baskets at the end. We will know instantly if we pull the limited because it's still the same limited animation, which is at like Tokyo Drift. That's what I keep calling it. I don't know what else to call it. There is also a separate animation if you pull a 98 overall. 92, 88, 89. Also, I have a serious question. Do you guys notice an audio quality difference? So this microphone is way easier to use, but it's a lot cheaper and less confusing than my setup back in Arizona. But I'm starting to think like, who actually gives a shit? I don't know, I'm thinking about switching to this. I'm just scared because every time I deep throat this thing, I fucking, I mute it. Zach Ertz, Ben Powers, Jamin Davis. I will say with these Sugar Rush packs, it's an 89 plus, but it's very consistently plus. Like you're getting, you get 92 overalls all the time, which is better than I can usually say for EA. They usually, they usually don't take that plus very seriously. Yeah, see both 92s in this, that's solid. The other good thing is we can take every single Sugar Rush player we get, that's not the limiteds, and we can quick sell them for chocolates. We can turn those chocolates into more eggs. What would be really nice is some 95s though. That is the bummer. We pulled all 15 of these now, not a single 95 or 98 or limited. It's been all 89s and 92s. The final Sugar Rush egg pack keep in mind we haven't opened a single one of the eggs yet the eggs is the important part for me today quentin nelson cole holcomb ezra cleveland this is why i really think ea has just ruined packs for me look at how bad this is i just spent 1.2 million coins on packs and to show for it i got a bunch of 89s and 92s some 84s 88s that's horrible. I will quick sell all these guys though. See how many uh, chocolates that gets us, which we can turn into some more eggs. 9,560 is not that many. All right, 14 simple baskets. Keep in mind, these are either a simple egg or better. This simple egg quick sells for 350. Can't imagine that does too much for us. Next one, also a simple egg. Shit, I'm not liking the simple basket right now. We're four for four. Five for five. There's that Super Bowl egg again. So at least we got something different. Another Super Bowl egg. Looks like the Super Bowl egg quick sells for <laughs> slightly more than a simple. So you can imagine that Super Bowl egg is, and the simple egg are probably just super average. The nice egg for 680. Okay. Now we're onto something a little bit better. Uh I am, uh, this is what they call grasping at straws. My analogy game has either been spectacular or horrendous recently. Oh, <laughs> simple basket with a clutch up. Oh, my bad. I actually thought this was extravagant, which is the highest tier, but this is the second highest tier, an excellent egg. Quick sells for 1,400. 
So you know that one's a heater, at least a moderate heater. My prediction for those, I'm gonna say they're a 95 overall Sugar Rush player. Like this to me looks like it'd be a 95 overall Sugar Rush player. Or let's just do a comparison here. So that's 1400 chocolates that quick sells for, right? If we were to go to the store and go to the chocolate shop, what is 1400 chocolates worth? Well, for 900 chocolates, you could get a 95 overall not auctionable. For 3000, you could get a 95 overall that you can auction. So this is somewhere in the middle. For 1300, you could get a 92 plus. So I feel like a realistic guess for that is it's either a 92 plus or it's just a 95 on the dot. I don't know which I'd prefer, honestly. A 92 plus does give you a chance for a limited or a 99. I'm a gambling man. This video is not sponsored. Out of those 15 simples, we got a nice and excellent nine simples and then three Super Bowl eggs, which are basically simple eggs. It's nice to get eggs. I would not say that's worth it at all. If you have 97,000 coins, you absolutely should not be buying that pack. I definitely recommend buying players off the auction house. What is nice though is using the chocolates. If you can accumulate chocolates from solos or from house rules, this I'm excited about. Now, we could guarantee the extravagant egg with the extravagant basket, or we go the mystery basket route. I'm gonna start with one guaranteed extravagant, then I'll do 10 mysteries and let's compare. Our extravagant basket, Scott! Woo! A cruise egg. So no mysteries really here. This is an AKA cruise player. Quick sales for 4140, which is solid. The thing with AKA Cruz is there's so many players. There are some incredible ones. Like there's a 98 Sun God Amon Ra. There's a 98 Travis Kelsey Big Yeti. But at the same time, there's some low 95s as well. I'm gonna go one more. I wanna see a different basket. Ooh, what is this? Yo, what is this? It's just straight up egg extravagant. So this one's actually a mystery. 4140 chocolate. So roughly the same value as the last one we just got. Presumably a Sugar Rush player. I would hope it's at least a 98 overall. If it's a 95, I might riot. I'll do it again. Get oh! oh! <laughs> Let's go! A limited egg. Holy shit, we have two. Okay, so to my knowledge, there are four limited eggs. We now have two of the four. Go birds quick sells for more than Brian Branch. Brian Branch was 9,100, right? Obviously an Eagles player. Who the fuck is this? This is kind of a long shot, but do you guys remember that gold 99 tribute Jason Kelsey came out? Could this be the gold 99 tribute Jason Kelsey? That would be pretty sick. I'd really like that one. I guess it technically could be Michael Vick. Could be the, the third and final Michael Vick card. What if it's Saquon? What if it's halfback Saquon? Cause he's now on the Eagles. I highly doubt that. They probably had this plan for way too long. My number one guess right now is gonna be Harold Carmike. No. My number one guess right now is Michael Vick. All right, well, now that we just pulled a limited, let's go mysteries on the rest of these. I am interested in seeing how the mysteries are. The mysteries in the Christmas promo were honestly pretty solid. I was on average getting pretty decent stuff. This one is the Genki Force Egg. Quick sells for 690 and the mystery basket is 670 So a slight chocolate profit, if you want to put it that way. Simple egg is always going to be a deficit. 350 another simple egg. A nice egg is basically breaking even, 680 A Super Bowl egg, we know this one's a deficit, 370 I'm going to run the chocolates into the dirt on this. Another Super Bowl egg. So right now, we're definitely at a deficit on the random mystery eggs. So one excellent, no extravagance out of this mystery yet. Here's our final one. I don't know. I don't know. Simple egg. Those were not great. Those were not great. And of course, the big the big thing here is I haven't even touched this yet. That was kind of my point. I wanted to touch this last. The grand egg basket. We got three nice, three excellent, three extravagant. The good news is the nice and excellent baskets can, it's nice or better. So you're not just guaranteed mm. For example, three nice eggs. That's just the bare minimum. So we're hoping we can go a little bit higher here. This one ends up being a nice egg. You know what this reminds me of, by the way? You know when you go to a restaurant or like a coffee shop and they just have the most sus name for what you're ordering? Like, you know when the sandwich is called like the, like Big John's Meaty Surprise or some shit? And you gotta look the waiter straight in their eye and say, I would like Big John's Meaty Surprise, please. <laughs> yeah, boy. Three excellent baskets. I don't have a lot of these, so I don't really care what I get as long as it's new. That is not new. I already have wild card egg. Oh shit! No, 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 no. That's huge. That is a tier one. That's a tier one egg. Let's go. So weekly wild card is four thousand chocolate. Huge. This is a true tier two egg. Fourteen hundred. Just a standard. Most likely, if it doesn't have any anything on, it's probably a sugar rush player. Damn! Let's go. Two out of our three excellent baskets were extravagant eggs. Tier one eggs. That's awesome. Three extra. Give me a new limited. Three tier one baskets. All right, first one, we got that one. We got a few of those now. We got a few of those. Second one, let me see if I can get something new. Maybe a limited? Team of the year egg. Ah! 
Okay, so here's where they'll fuck us. Here's where they'll fuck us. Because it's called the Team of the Year egg. So in my head, I'm thinking it's gotta be a Team of the Year player, right? Don't forget, the Team of the Year promo has 95 overalls. Like, if this is a 95 overall Team of the Year player, I'm gonna be pissed. If it's a 97, amazing. Temper expectations. Temper expectations. Brand new egg, though, that's awesome. Third and final is an ultimate egg. So presumably ultimate legends, quick sells for 4140. Is it a 95 overall shitty ultimate legend or is it a full 97 or 98 or even a maybe a gold 99? We now have 45 eggs to open on the 31st. Two wild cards, a limited, eight Super Bowls, 16 simple, seven nice, two excellent, one cruise, Three extravagant, so tier one sugar rush. One is limited go bird, so it's gotta be an Eagles player. A Genki Force small, a combine tier two, team of the year tier one, ultimate egg tier one. Hell yeah, boys. So last thing I'm gonna do here is this is actually, this is a really solid offer. Nine times 92 plus. 10% at a 95 and 3% at a 98 plus. Uh, take all the chocolate that I can get out of this and I'll roll that right back into some eggs. And then um, we're cash money, baby. Caden Ellis. Ooh, first 95, Austin Corbett. I like that. You like that? Keep in mind, we are talking a lot of shit about the of the Christmas promo, and I think there's a lot of good reason to do that. But the limiteds in the Christmas promo were insanely good. I mean, Rob Gronkowski, middle linebacker out of position, is still an insanely viable card. If you watch Wheel of Mutt, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That card came out in Christmas, and that was in one of the Christmas presidents. Low-key, I'm gonna do this stepped-up ladder, too. I actually would really like to get my hands on one of the two limiteds. I'm not gonna lie. You get three 92-plus Sugar Rush on the second tier of the ladder. I will say, with the eggs, it's, it, with the eggs, it's not hard to get above the tier, but with these packs, 89 pluses are good. The 92 pluses, these are stingy. I don't see a lot of 95s in these. This is 395 plus. Let's see if, like, can any of these be a 98 overall? Or maybe, hey, wait, this is how I got Leonard Williams, right? Wasn't it in a 95 plus? No, I think I got him raw in a pack. Shit, I don't remember. Dante Fowler, Luke Godick, and our third and final all 95s. Bummer. This new JMO is a pretty sick card, though. He just came out. 97 speed. 6-2. I came in strapped today, boys. Now, this is the Sugar Rush Egg Opportunity Pack. You get two extravagant baskets and 192 or 98. Of course, it's a 49% chance. This is a bad direction we're going in, I will say. Now, listen, EA hasn't fully shelled the fuck out like 2K has. I don't know if you guys have played 2K this year, but there's no fucking auction house. Holy shit. If we ever get there with Madden, I may actually boycott. These, pr these percentage packs, we're going down the wrong path. Let's start with the baskets. Start with the baskets. See if I can go. Go limited for second cruise egg i don't hate it i don't hate aka cruise i actually really like those cards so i'm cool with that our second basket from the topper is gonna be okay we got that one too and finally the big boy the big boy the big boy come on come on come on Fuck! absolutely brutal all right so how many chocolates do we come out with after all these shenanigans yeah that's the real question Seventeen thousand take it. So that will put three more. Three more extravagant baskets on this squad. Let's go for it, baby. First one is the classic extravagant. I strongly believe that will just be a, sh a high overall Sugar Rush player. Hopefully 98s. We are seeing that puppy a lot. Final one, day. Hey, this is the final one of the opening, gentlemen. Our last extravagant basket is Team of the... Oh, I lied. That is not going to be our last one. I have a problem. I forgot that I, I have all this training on this account. We can still buy Sugar Rush players with training. Take whoever we get, quick sell them until we get back up to 4,900. You are watching a man cave to his gambling addiction in, in real time. Guys, if you actually, like, for real, I actually have a gambling problem, like, get help. Call somebody. You know what I found helped me? I would, like, tell my close friends and family. I'd be like, hey, I've got a problem. Can you help me? Like, can you be my accountability partner? Because then when you start gambling in front of someone and you already told them that you have a problem, they're gonna look at you like, dog, what are you doing? That shame. <laughs> I actually don't know if shame is a good way to get over an addiction. I, I don't think I'm qualified to be talking about this. All right, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. That's what I'm gonna do. The days of pulling limiteds in these just feel like they're over. Like, I, oh, God, they fucking hear me, bro. They actually hear me and they suck me back in. They actually just heard me through my fucking screen. It is literally possible to pull the limiteds in these. It's just really rare. It didn't used to be so impossible. And now that shit's impossible. There you see our boy, Caden Ellis. These are actually going quite well. Take this up to 9,800 so I can get two more extravagant baskets. And then I'm going to throw Keenan Allen on this team. And well, uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to have a big gameplay portion of this episode. Just because I'm really not. Damn! I'm actually pulling heat now. Let's go up to 15,000. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. 
Yes. Guys, if you actually, like, for real, actually have a gambling problem, like, get help. Also, if you're this deep in the video and you're just kind of ASMR watching, I do have something I wanted to talk about. I always do Wheel of 2K. I do Wheel of 2K every year. But, man, with the fact that there's no auction house in 2K, I almost don't want to do it. Like, I kind of, it, it morally pisses me off that they actually force you to buy every player on your account that you can't buy and sell. Do they not realize how important an auction house is to the community? I don't know. I'm conflicted. I love making Wheel of 2K. I don't want to piss everyone off by not doing it. But I also don't want to sit there and shell out my money to 2K when they're doing something so obscenely unethical. That's where I'm at. Oh my fucking God, no, I did not do it! Holy shit. Never quit. Every gambler is always one click away from their big win. Guys, if you actually, like, for real, actually have a gambling problem, like, get help. Holy shit. This card is fucking god mode. Was Joey Porter Jr. that good this year? Because he gets cards like he was the best corner in the league. Although, I will say, like, you know how, how rare that was? Made that experience right there so much cooler. Uh, I'm a shill. I'm a fucking shill ass bitch. Wow. Those train rerolls just went went so unbelievably hard. Three extravagant baskets. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh. Oh, oh, shit. What the, what is this? I thought it was a cruise egg. It looked just like a cruise egg. Mad Stork? It's Ted Hendricks. This is out of position, Ted Hendricks. I fucking guarantee it. Ted Hendricks' nickname was the Mad Stork. And these are Raiders colors. The, the question is what position? Because... T because Ted Hendricks always gets some crazy ass card. I wouldn't be shocked if this is safety Ted Hendricks. This may this may actually be safety Ted Hendricks. If it's not, it's outside linebacker. Either way, he's getting Lurk Artist, and this card is gonna be disgusting. Oh, I can't wait! We got three of four! Alright, to conclude, we now have three limited eggs. The exclusive Mad Stork, the exclusive Go Birds, and the exclusive Branch Out. We are only missing one. The one that we are missing. So Mad Stork and Branch Out, those are obviously who they are, right? There's there's one egg left. It's called Matchup Nightmare. And it has green and yellow on it, so Packers colors. Matchup Nightmare with Packers colors. I honestly don't know. I don't have a good guess for that. Damn, Keenan Allen is insanely expensive. What is Joey Porter Jr. going for? Joey Porter Jr. looks to be a little bit less expensive. Interesting, why is Keenan Allen so expensive? Look guys, I'm not broke, I'm just acknowledging. All right, gold 99 Keenan Allen. A 6298. Just figured out why he's so expensive. Mid and elite for zero. Route tech for one. I'm horny. All right, boys. Defensively, we got the gold 99 Joey Porter Jr. Offensively, the gold 99 Keenan Allen. Let's have some fun. I'm definitely gonna be rocking the house rules. I'm not I'm not giving you a lot. I already told you that, guys. I need to I need to do shit today. What am I bitching about? I don't got shit to do. I'm gonna fucking beat my meat and play RuneScape, but come on, throw it to Metcalf. Look at him. Throw it to him. Look at him. Yes! Oh, you're actually an idiot. Okay. Oh, pitch it to Porter. Porter! Joey! I had a dream that Joey Porter Jr. got the ball, and he did. Can we talk about how that was actually a halfway decent pitch, though? I'm trying to get Keenan Allen open on this. I don't know if he is. Honestly, just like, fuck it, right? Let's just throw it to him. <laughs> all right, two-point conversion. Keenan. Oh, that's not open at all. Matt, you're homeless. You don't have a home. You have nowhere to live because you don't have a home. Come on, Joey. Let's go, JPJ. Let's run that shit back, boy. Boom! I gotta make him think it's open, you know? Gotta play mind games here. You think that's open, right? Yes, you do. This game is over. Back to your shift at Wendy's, bud. Let me play with the real kids. Not entirely sure what I'm looking for here, but... I'm gonna let the game... Yeah, it's... 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 <sighs> Holy shit, this Keenan Allen catches everything. There's Keenan on the out route. That's a beauty. Sixth and goal. <laughs> I love how Keenan Allen's simulated stats are four receptions for negative 55 yards. Who wants to tell me how the fuck Keenan Allen has four receptions for negative 33 yards? Okay. Jump ball. Go for it, Keenan! <laughs> that's not what a jump ball is, but whatever. Ooh, that's a fucking dot. Can I make this? Yes, I can. That's a hell of a play. Oh, it's an RPO. Nice play. Oh! Way to get off! No! We got off 
it. Not a lot of clock left. I actually think we won already. It's actually kind of messed up how this game mode works, but I think I can legitimately chew the, the rest of the entire clock now because I have so many downs to chew 30 seconds, right? And go with a handoff to McCaffrey, take two yards, and, um, but that's no fun, right? That's no fun. Let's air it out. I'm not here to win. I'm here to have fun. Fuck it. <gasps> that's the first time I've seen Keenan Allen not animate. He didn't even jump. I don't know what I did wrong there, but I goofed it. All right, now we actually, now we actually have to really hold him out or we lose here. Outright lose. Okay, he's gonna try that deep post again, I think, because it worked so well last time. Yeah, there it is. I'm on it, though. It's completely, utterly bagged. That is not. I gotta make this tackle. No! Yes! Oh, that's huge. We needed that so bad. What a fucking tackle. I would have lost by so many points if we didn't get that. He's going RPO. Oh, it's not RPO. Oh! Oh my god, once again, Ronnie Lott just threw his no animation? Pick it! There's Nico. Let's go. Caught. That gives me a point. Every time you get 10 yards, you get a point. Gotta go, gotta go quick. There's McCaffrey. Money, get 10, get 10, get 10, get 10. Fifth and goal, I have no timeouts. We just gotta go no huddle. We're here. Keenan Allen post, is it possible? Keenan, Allen, end it! No, knocked out! Oh, that would've tied the game. I need to get a point and get out of bounds. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I need a Keenan Allen corner out to work here. Cause actually, I don't know what's gonna happen here. We're gonna find out. Keenan, catch it! Caught! Seventh and goal, 14 to 14, do I have time? No time, what happens? What happens? So it's actual overtime and he won the toss. I wonder what overtime rules this uses. I have no idea how this is gonna work. This, we're, we are in new territory, gentlemen, to say the least. Come on, Keekly. Wait, if he just gets a point, does he win? It's gonna be so shitty if he's now, if he just won the game. <laughs> wow. What a gigantic advantage to getting the ball. You simply win by getting 10 yards. That was an awesome game though. Hey, GG's my opponent, that was an awesome game. All right, boys, hey, I love you. Definitely one of our best pack openings today. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.